The main reason why I put Lipati and Ravel together is, well, first of all, because just Ravel is the composer I've been playing quite a lot over the last a uh, couple of years. I think I must have played this Tombeau de Couperin about 20 or 25 times in the last season or something. And it seemed like sort of, I mean, if I had to record something now, that was the piece that would be ready to be recorded. For some reason, they, they sort of work together, Ravel and Lipati. I don't know, if Lipati had a very close connection to Ravel. He made, he didn't record much Ravel. I know he played the Tombeau de Couperin, but for example, he, he made probably the best recording of the Ravel, Aldorado del Gracioso, uh, that is still available on the market. So there's, I mean, there's some kind of connection, apart from the fact that they're, they were for 16, 17 years contemporaries, and there's a sort of, similarity in their way of approaching music and I mean they're very analytical, they're very structured, they're very sensual at the same time and they both have a knack for dances actually in a way uh, and when you think of like Ravel's the two pieces on this thing it's the sets of waltzes and the tombeau de Couperin which is basically a pastiche of a of an 18th century French suite. I met Michel Branches a couple of months ago when I was on tour with Maria Joao Pirish in Holland. And his technical knowledge of the instrument is absolutely incredible. He can make whatever piano you want to have out of a decent, healthy Steinway. Which means that not only he has a fantastic technical knowledge, but he also has a very deep sense of musicality. He has a great openness to um, the musician he has in front of him. He tries to guess what his aesthetic is, how he thinks of music, and what kind of instrument could make things work for him. The tuner is not the artist. I think the, 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 the artist, the painter, is the artist, is Julien in, in this respect. And of course, we try to, to, to feel as much what he wants to have. We try to find patterns and, and in, his, in the behavior of the instrument, in the behavior of the material, in the behavior of the acoustics, in the behavior of the touch. Of course, it would be silly to say that Lipati is a composer of the level of Ravel. He didn't live long enough, and he was, of course, mainly a performing artist. Nevertheless, he has to be appreciated as a very, very fine uh, composer, and a very fine and deep musician, and someone who probably uh, would have given us much more if he'd have the chance, if he'd had the chance to live.